if parks are to remain relevant, how do we engage today's youth? Karen, you want to take, take a bat? Take a shot at that? Go ahead, Sorry. try to speak into it. I think it's a baton. I think we need to um, go to the youth and find out what is it that you really want to know about these national parks and try to see the national parks through their eyes and capture their attention in the ways that they would like it to be captured, but also demonstrate to them that in this world of technology, sometimes it's really valuable to slow down and take a look at nature and learn from it and try to find some peace out there. You know, there's so many activities buying for their time. I, I really get concerned about children just learning to take some time to draw that spiritual strength that all through the films we've found John Muir and uh, all of the different people talking about. Let's talk a bit about, too, about what you are doing to get kids out there and, and, and even younger people to get involved in, like, the student conservation efforts and things like this because um, that seems to be so critical to so many. Well, I think one of the th – and I, I have a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old, and uh, I think one of the things that my kids do is they tell all of their friends, parks are fun. I mean, the portal uh, – parks are a portal for great family vacations. They are great, they are wonderful places for uh, friends and families to, to come together and, and, you know, have a blast. And uh, most national parks uh, have, whether you're in an urban setting like uh, Klondike Seattle or North Cascades, we have a variety of programs. We have the, the free junior ranger program, which are activity books that uh, kids and families uh, can come and go around in the park and <coughs> do fun things and learn some things at the same time. We work uh, very closely with partners like the Student Conservation Association or the North Cascades Institute or Ol Olympic Park Institutes uh, where we have curriculum-based education programs that uh, uh, bring classes and teachers and uh, homeschool uh, groups uh, into the parks to use the parks as classrooms. And it's pretty common to hear educators say that bringing, uh, bringing a group of kids to the, to the park um, for a day or for three days, um, they will learn more and accomplish more in their education uh, in that eight hour p period than they would in a week back in the classroom. And part of that is just simply because they're having fun doing it. And, and I think that if we lose sight that parks are fun, um, we do so at our peril. Trumbull, go ahead. Uh, in addition to that, um, I think it's imperative uh, as we talk about a park as a physical place and the ability to attract younger children and uh, basically anybody with a, ver a variety of interests to the park, we take into the consideration the people who are staffing those parks. And when we have qualified, excited park service staff, which we have here, and we're very fortunate to have two great examples of them here, those people engage the public and they get them to have a more whole experience when they come to the park and that, that draws more people into it and makes for a, a, a great experience. What, what is Senator Murray's, uh, I guess, biggest concern about the, the status of the parks, particularly in the state? Well, there could be a variety of ways to answer that, but I think um, uh, Senator Murray, as uh, a, a member of the Appropriations Committee in the United States Senate, uh, uh, has a primary role in funding the park service and uh, that's a good spot to have yeah. Huh, yeah. yeah and in <laughs> fiscal year 2010 uh, w we're looking pretty good so far uh, in the interior bill that's been passed out a subcommittee the park service has been funded about 2.7 billion dollars which is a 7.4 percent increase from the previous fiscal year and given the trying economic times that we're facing and the various ways the federal budget is being pulled, it's uh, a pretty pretty good win so far. We have several other hurdles to jump through before we get to the actual final bill, but things are looking pretty good. 